Welcome back to Fact A Day, where we uncover the most fascinating and sometimes bewildering aspects of laws from around the globe. Today, we're delving into the Oklahoma Drug Tax Stamp Law, a legislation that might sound bizarre at first, but offers a unique perspective on how states attempt to regulate and tax the sale of controlled substances. Join us as we explore the origins, implementation, and outcomes of this peculiar law. Don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. The drug stamp law requires anyone in possession of illegal drugs to have purchased the stamps as a tax payment. The only revenue seen from the stamps is $250, that all spent presumably by collectors. The law, of course, is an attempt to pile more charges on anyone found in possession of illegal drugs. The Oklahoma Drug Tax Stamp Law, enacted in the late 20th century, was part of a broader trend across several U.S. states. These laws were designed with dual purposes in mind, to generate revenue from the sale of illegal drugs and to provide law enforcement with an additional tool for prosecuting drug offenses. Under this law, dealers of illegal substances were required to purchase and affix state-issued tax stamps to their products, effectively acknowledging the state's taxation authority over these transactions even though the sale of the drugs remained illegal. The law stipulates that individuals in possession of certain quantities of controlled substances must have tax stamps affixed to their illegal drugs. These stamps can be purchased anonymously from the state's tax commission. The catch, however, is twofold. Firstly, possessing drugs without a stamp incurs a hefty penalty, often significantly higher than the tax itself. Secondly, Purchasing a stamp does not legalize the possession or sale of drugs, but rather serves as evidence of tax compliance, which law enforcement can use to prosecute for drug possession or trafficking. The Oklahoma drug tax stamp law has not been without its controversies. Critics argue that it essentially penalizes individuals twice for the same crime, violating the U.S. Constitution's protection against double jeopardy. Others see it as a paradoxical acknowledgement by the state of Oklahoma of ongoing illegal activities. Legal challenges have questioned the law's constitutionality, leading to a complex legal landscape where the effectiveness and fairness of drug tax stamp laws are hotly debated. Despite these challenges, the law remains on the books, a testament to the ongoing struggle to find effective strategies for drug regulation and taxation. The effectiveness of the Oklahoma drug tax stamp law is difficult to measure. While it has generated revenue for the state and provided law enforcement with an additional prosecutorial tool, its impact on curbing drug trafficking is debatable. The law also raises ethical questions about the state benefiting financially from the sale of illegal substances. Furthermore, it highlights the challenges of implementing a taxation scheme on activities that remain outside the legal framework questioning whether such laws deter crime or merely add another layer of punishment. The Oklahoma drug tax stamp law serves as a fascinating case study in the complex interplay between legal regulation, taxation, and drug policy. While its goals of generating revenue and aiding law enforcement are clear, the law's effectiveness and ethical implications remain subjects of ongoing debate. As we continue to explore innovative approaches to drug regulation, the lessons learned from Oklahoma's experiment with drug tax stamps offer valuable insights into the challenges of governing illicit activities. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into one of the most intriguing laws in the United States. Remember to like, comment with your views, and subscribe to Fact A Day for more enlightening episodes on the unique intersections of law and society.